One, two, three. Okay, hi everyone. Uh, next, I'm going to show you how to run a real logical test, particularly is uh, how to measure viscosity of the plastic melt. This is the machine we are going to use. This is the PAAR 270EX. And inside this machine, let me show you. It's a furnace where you can heat it up to a, to a certain temperature. Uh, I'm gonna lower the temperature for now. And this is the uh, this is the uh, the platen hooked up with the thermal couple where you can heat this platen to, for example, 400 degrees Celsius for this machine. And this is the control unit that control. Uh, the machine, uh, the performance. But first of all, before we use the machine, we need to make sure we have a certain sample per gas. Generally, it's about 10 uh, liter per minute or five to 10 ish. All right. Um, before we run this machine, the first step you need to run is to zero the gap, which means is this is the parallel plate to zero the distance between these two plating to serve as a, our baseline. So first of all, we are going to zero the gap. Again, this is the software used to control uh, the machine uh, to zero the gap. This is the zero gap uh, function. Um, I'll just manually lower the upper platen and then I'm going to click zero the gap. So I continue. This is a very like this is a very similar to uh, tearing the weight for a TDA test. I'm going to stop the zero the gap and manually lower the up level to speed up the, the process. See that? Now it is about the, mm. Okay, then I'm going to zero it. And you can see the gap between the planting is getting smaller and smaller. Okay, it's and it's completed. So the zero gap process is completed. Now we're going to open the oven. And we 
raising the the upper plating okay and next we are going to use this little ring and make a, a disc shape sample so we we'll mount this ring uh oh top of this lower plating next we are going to load our sample which is in the pallet again this is a PLA so we're gonna load the pallet into this room Because we know the PLA will melt around the melting point of PLA is around 160 degrees Celsius each. To melt all these plastics, we'll go to a temperature. So here, we'll uh, raise our temperature to 180 degrees Celsius. This way, um, after we um, this way after we waited for about three or five minutes. All the pallets should be or should already melt and we should have we should be able to mold it to a good sample and then you can see once we set up the temperature 180 the sample temperature is going up Okay, let's open 
to see quickly see our sample and you can see now the pellets start to melt we wait about one or two minutes Okay, now I'm going to lower the upper plate. Once it reaches the lower plate, the normal force will go up. Do you see the norm for the stand to go up to 3.29 um, if I open my oven I can see certainly the upper plating is touching the rim so at this time I'm gonna quickly unwrap this wrapper rim and do a quick cut basically is to remove the excessive materials right and you want it to perform this as quickly as you can otherwise your material will be solidifying so it's cool too much all right and here i know that right now my sample height is about 3.5 millimeter i'm going to reduce it 2500 percent and i'm going to open and trim it again and you can see some of the material flow out so I'm going to trim this again and we are going to further reduce the sample height to uh, 2100 You want to make sure that it is smooth, right? So our sample is good. I will further reduce this to make sure the sample fully um, lay out between the uh, the plating. So I go to twenty fifty. All right. Now we'll the the test I'm gonna show you is to be run at 180. So our required temperature it is 180. Then now to to make the to to make the sample to make the sample uh, the procedure we'll go to procedure new flow. And the conditioning step to 180. The flow, we're gonna run steady state flow test as a function of shear rate. For example, we're gonna go to one second to 10. And in log mode and prolog, so from one to 10, we're gonna collect 10 points. And we don't need the post, so we are gonna unclick this. This is our procedure. We go back. Once the temperature reach 180, we can start our test.
temperature is very close. All right, before we start the test, you want to zero, double click the displacement, it's like zero the strength, zero the top, double click that, and then, I'm just waiting the temperature to reach 180. And then we go to experiment and run. Here, first of all, uh, you need to give a sample name, which is a PLA in this case. Um, file name, do, today is a PLA 1127 2017. Run number is do 1. Again, we need to save it to address. Okay, and then we have a 753, click OK. Change the sample density for PLA is about 1.25, and you click OK. Set the gap is currently set to 2050, and not specify the current management I mean, set it correctly before it said no. Um, it doesn't matter. Um, the software will use the current gap for calculation, so your result is OK. All right, this is how we start the test. Um, in fact, afterwards, I want to show you the. Uh, I want to show you how the result look. Um, this is how you gonna um, how the result gonna look like. Is you gonna look at the, have a viscosity as a function of a shear rate. Apparently, you can see the viscosity drops as you increase the shear rate, which means the PRA is a shear thinning, um, shear thinning uh, plastic. Again, if you, this is what's wrong at 180. If you look at the data at 190, which is this is solid symbol, you can see that they're only 10K different, but the viscosity drops dramatically. All right, this is how we run our uh, rheological test, particularly on viscosity measurement.